What's up, Renegade Nation? Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters Omega Sirius, Gweary9, Jack Styles, CJ Dennis, Faint T, Nunya, Video Game Freak 34, Clayton Jones, Mark Serrano, Drayden Knight, Maria, Lion, Age Caleb, Anthony, Nobody Special, Marcus Moeller, Backline Front, Chris Clay, and Kiana. Thank you all very much for your support. And one last thing before we begin, I would like to introduce all of you to our new executive producer, the Anime Hybrid. And if you all want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link down below to find out more. We'll see you there. What in the f*** is that sound? That sounds horrifying. That numbers. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Ah, Alright kids, quick show of hands. Who here's played Operation before? Nick, have you ever ridden around in a helicopter before? No. Nah. I have. Honestly, helicopters kind of creep me out. Why is that? Because they're a lot more likely to crash than planes. You're not wrong. But, if you're in a good one, with a good pilot, which, you know... Much like planes, I would want to learn to fly one myself and be the one to fly it if I had the choice. Mm. Like, the only way I wouldn't be totally terrified <coughs> in a plane <coughs> is if I was getting to fly my own plane. Because that way, my life's in my hands to an extent, and the hands of whoever was maintaining the plane, you know. And rather than just, like, both the hands of a random person I don't know, as well as a big crew that's maintaining a big ass plane that is for like a bunch of people to ride on every day. It's kind of like a, a, it almost gives me the same vibe as like riding a ride at like the county fair, like the ones they take down and move around all the time. I wouldn't go that far for me. It'd like, be like riding a city bus. Eh. Well, dude, think about it. More people die in car accidents than they do in, than they do in airplanes. It's How not, often do you it, hear of like a city bus crashing and everyone on board dying though? In certain places, a lot. For instance, down really in South that. America, it happens a lot because their safety standards down there are shit. And versus here in the states, where most of our city buses that we have are tanks, literally. I don't know. They're hard to roll over. People always try to convince me out of my like irrational fear of planes which is not nearly as large as my irrational fear of sharks but it's still present <clears throat> like but fair enough i just try to give you my logic on it it's like everything's out of my hands i don't like the fact that if you are going down all you get is an oxygen mask you don't get the option to be like no i'm gonna bail the fuck out of this motherfucker with a parachute it's like, well nah, you're gonna hit the fucking ground or water or whatever you're going towards and good fucking luck you're basically fucked like mm. i know it's not likely for it to happen but I don't like the fact that if it is, they're just basically like, good luck, motherfucker, you're dead, pretty much. Like, you know what I mean? Not necessarily. I mean, most planes, the most types of failures that planes experience are... It's like, not about the failures. It's not about that. It's the fact that if it does happen, they aren't going to let you just bail out. You get well, to put on an oxygen mask, which the only point of, by the way, is to get you high on pure oxygen so that you care less that you're about to fucking die. Makes you I don't panic. like that. I don't like that at all. It makes all. you not panic, in which... I know, but I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like the idea of just, like, you're going down, so your option is get high, so you don't care that you're about to die. Well, like, it's better than the option that fighter pilots back in World War One had. Which is pretty much none, I'm assuming. Oh, no. They had an option. Oh, uh, yeah, they could eject and bail out, but if you were a prisoner of war, then you were going to have a oh, bad, no, they didn't a bad have, fucking uh, time. No, nah, most parachutes back then were not reliable. So most pilots back then didn't have them. Instead, you know what they had? I just dribbled all over myself. You know what they had? They had a fucking pistol. And you could either... Oh, so you got to shoot yourself in the head or... Yeah, either shoot yourself in the head or go down with your plane. You pick. I would inject, try the parachute, and if it didn't work, then I would sh shoot myself in the head. Actually, you know what I'd do? I'd try and be like a lawn dart. I just, I, if my parachute fails, it's be like, well, going in. Yeet! I just think there should be the option for there to be a chute in the back of your seat. You buckle the fuck up, and you pull a lever, and your seat drops out the bottom of the plane. But that should not be enabled, 
unless by the pilot after a critical failure where the plane is definitely going to hit the ground. Know what I mean? So that well, way, a little Jimmy is not going to drop himself out the plane midway to Chicago when all is fair and good. Like, but well, again, that's dude, just my personal opinion. Again, dude, hindsight is twenty twenty yeah. on everything. I mean, that's, hell, that's foresight on my opinion. It's like all planes should have that. <laughs> How long have planes existed? A while. Exactly, and and they still haven't done that yet. Well, yeah, because I don't know what the logistics are. I mean. I'm not an aeronautical engineer, so... I think they just don't trust people. Maybe. I don't know. It's like passengers too stupid to save themselves in a, in a emergency situation, which I think is bullshit. Well, speaking of people who are too stupid to I save themselves... I know people panic in emergency situations, but still. Well, speaking of people who uh, are too stupid to save themselves, uh, these are a bunch of literal morons in an AH-64 Apache longbow uh, in War Thunder by uh, the Russian Badger. So, let's see Most what happens. people have been asking us to watch his War for Thunder videos, and I don't really know why. So. Me neither. So, we're just going to give this a shot and see what's up. So, here we go. Three, two, one. Wow. Uranium is 20 billion calories. <laughs> 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 so, if you really wanted to bulk up, you got a source. That isn't a meme I took. I googled that. There is Not... a certain amount of potassium that is radioactive. We've worked <laughs> this out in high school. If you ate 40,000 bananas in 10 minutes, you would die of radioactive poisoning. Yeah, uh, really? yes. The radiation would kill you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I still think helicopters should have ejection seats. War Thunder. The game I love so much, I've literally memorized every single shell combination. The helicopters can not eject the same way a plane does, base. though. Just so that I understand the meme. Armor if piercing, you fin stabilized, discarding you get shredded. Sabot. Armor piercing, high explosive. Armor piercing, high explosive, fin stabilized, discarding Sabot. Or Sabo, sorry. Armor piercing, high explosive, fin stabilized, discarding Sabo, high explosive, cap, ballistic cap. Armor piercing, high explosive, <laughs> fin stabilized, discarding Sabo, high explosive, anti tag, high explosive, cap. What's the cap, point of putting high explosive cap. in there multiple times? And then we just got. Bash. That's what we're working with. Not high explosive squash head. Not hash man. We're on that bash. Thanks to guys for sponsoring today's video. You can play for free on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. And signing up at the link below grants you a premium tank, aircraft, or ship with a three-day account boost. So there's never been a better time to join the community. That guy's I played for free Heat because Dab it was one of the only things I had the option to play when I got my PlayStation 4 on release. Heat Dab I don't know if it's better Dab. now or not, but it was pretty space. And then. as an added bonus, both new players and existing players that use a link below gain access to my very own decal. Wow. Which is incredibly valuable yes. for obvious reasons, so be sure to check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that shit launching rocket pods at you. <laughs> this is the saddest, most offensive decal that you could probably have on a wartime killing machine. Like, what the? It looks like meat wad seal. Like, what the? <laughs> Look at well, it. I took the funds for that. Question: Am I immortal? <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> the last thing that you see before death. A quick update on the last I'm gonna get video. You. I did well, in fact ask up your ass, to be paid with an F-22 Raptor, and the response was well. Predictable. But you can't fault me for trying. Maybe I should ask for every enlisted man's dream car this time around. God damn, all this for a Camaro? And as a final note, I hope you guys are hanging in there while we're all social distancing. I will try my best to avoid some of the dreadful shit posts that are somehow still contagious right now. Why are memes like this now? We have the official voice actor from Halo saying he turned himself into a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> and I shit you not, That's some of the funniest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Yo. Do you hate the Doge meme that much that you want to just exterminate him in a we've raid? Identified, we've identified the Shiba Inu. Beyond all that nonsense, the name of the game in this video, Old School, New School. Because the new shit, the modern shit, your Phantoms, your Abrams, your Apaches, obviously baller. Uh, two to one to help off. Oh hell. This potato truck is fucked. Whoa! <laughs> Oh, oh my god. god! You hit him in the throat! <laughs> oh. The driver's side window. But it's also very high tier, and mainly played by more experienced players. So we wanted to kick it old school to give you a more realistic view of the beginner vehicles you start with. And let me tell you, it may be lower rank, but it is just as exhilarating. Whoa, where did that come from? Wow. Is that an aircraft? Oh my god, oh! we got an air support, and that air support doesn't know how to fly! <laughs> wow. I mean, I admire the commitment, but... 
Jesus. <laughs> okay, I'm about to do something, and I'm probably going to regret it. Whoa, where did that come from? Wow. Is that an aircraft? Bonsai! I wouldn't have done that if I were you right now. Do what? Wouldn't have done that if I were you right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. I mean, I admire the commitment, but Jesus. <laughs> Old school lower ranks are badass. These dudes will drive or fly anything into combat. A literal boomerang with machine guns bolted onto it? Hell yeah, brother. Oh God, you're using this plane. Hell yeah. I'm gonna shoot somebody down, Dio! Hell yeah! In the boomerang! Who's next? Who's trying to get smoked next? <laughs> the thing about the boomerang is... Another I'll kill! Always, there it is! Smoke! Eye for an eye! Fuck it, we ball. We ball! Oh, oh my ball. god! Oh no! <laughs> I hit him, I hit him, I hit him. How are you not dying, bro? Oh, got him, okay. got him! How does that Ooh, well feel, Jester? Crash into the ground because gravity told you to. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm a boomerang. You can't outmaneuver a boomerang. Good luck, you yak piece of shit. Oh, it's not even a yak. It's a. It's Ferret's rule. He's back. He's back. Oh fuck. And I got it, man. Going from World War II era technology to modern day technology was weird because I always think of modern day vehicles as invisible and invincible to all adversaries, including that giant fireball we all look at every day. Wait, what is this glare from? Is this the you sun? Do. The sun. You would think they would patch that. I mean... Patched out the sun? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> New update. We have deleted the sun. <laughs> <laughs> we felt unnecessary to the function of the game. I'm just waiting for you to say, but we've already seen you fly chopper like the black shark. Well, this isn't a KA-50. It's an AH-64 Apache Longbow. Can your Black Shark do this? Wait, could I theoretically do this? Oh, no theoretical, Badger. You I don't did like, it. I, I don't like what I did. That, that truck through. is about to have a bad day. Damn. Oh, oh lord. Yeah, that's overkill as <laughs> And I, I love family. our defense budget. Holy shit. Also, <laughs> let's just say that I'm glad our bottom... But Badger, you're Canadian. Americans pay your defense budget. This defense budget here in the United States can produce such marvels uh, of modern okay. engineering. Okay. He moved to the U.S. Huh? He moved to the U.S. Oh, that's Splash. right. He did. Splash! Oh, yes! Oh my, what are you... <laughs> oh god. Two and three. All of those are in What? It just works. And what splash! Splash! <laughs> yes! Out you push bluff and you dwarf it. Peace out. Oh, You're you losing oil. Spin. Not in America, that's for sure. You should see my Goodbye. forearms right now, dog. I'm, I'm really pulling up on the stick. Holy shit! Coming down the hill to your right, direct to your right. Coming in. There you go. I spin it off. Oh! God, I feel like I'm four. Oh no, but he definitely clipped me. Oh, and he is out of here. Ooh, oh, he right in the see. cockpit. Move, move. <laughs> okay, you can't move out of the way of that. I'm that good. Fast. I'm good. Oh, you just take it. Oh well, you are. Uh, you should probably should have moved yeah, after the first one. Was. Was. <laughs> oh, you didn't oh, take it. Doesn't matter. Got the kill. I'm so glad that I straight faced that missile coming straight from my cockpit. What's that siren noise? A temporary setback. Just like while it's, while it's in the air, I just straight up Adam Sandler. This is how I win. Only thing it's missing is an ejection seat. Not sure that I'm qualified to explain how that would work from a technical standpoint, but seems like a worthwhile investment in research and development. You know, I still think helicopters should have ejection seats. Like, yeah, you're gonna get shredded by the rotors, but I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's a better then way it's to not go. your problem anymore but on the old school Pretty front much. i was just dying to rip through some t-34s because of actually there is a safety measure certain helicopters do have now you know what that is just eject the rotor off of it well first. the rotor ejects off of it the tail and also ejects off of it and instead a parachute pops out the top and the fuselage yeah and the fuselage uh then gently uh, goes to the but ground. If if you happen to be like just at the wrong like wind or momentum that your fuselage started rolling like at that point, you'd be kind of fucked anyway. Well, but. well, yeah, but that's why you have the stabilizers on the side to to balance the machine out a bit. 
You can still flip unless the rotors. Get, unless you're going down or, because those got shot plot. off. So. Well, true, true, true. But, again, you know, it's a better option than just, you know, nothing. Yeah. If there's anything the Soviets can afford to lose, it's a few thousand of those things. I can already hear the Soviet national anthem playing. What the hell? Oh, oh, it's the Russian man artillery. from oh, downtown. His whole crew Damn. got splattered. Damn, from all across Vermont. Damn. <laughs> Right, you left. Red, this guy's a chore. I'm gonna crush you with my T-34. Hell yeah, brother. You think the fire's gonna stop me? Think again. It's getting a little steamy in here, eh? If the first T-34 <laughs> doesn't crush them, the next three definitely will. How many different variants the T-34 do you have? Yes. <laughs> Your means of production are mine! Oh, this dude's next. And... And... Boom! Uh, dead. Yes. Oh. Double strike. Boom, critical hit. No, I'm no, gonna no, no, rip him damage. in half. Look at this. Oh, baby. Yep. Oh, baby. He doesn't know. He doesn't he's, know. Yeah, he doesn't he's, know. He's, know he's, Pepe Lab. Oh, my God. And once we jump back to new school, <laughs> I think it's obvious which modern tank I gravitate towards. <laughs> Dude, even a T-Rex would get his fade run by an M1A2 Abrams. I would send his ass back to the Cretaceous so fast. The reason why is I can't get enough of Sabo shells. Because when you think about it, it is literally just the final form of throwing a rock at somebody. All kinds of shells, like Heat and Hesh and... Besh have a complicated set of chemical reactions Besh. that are chained together for some devastating effect upon impacting another tank. But the Sabo shells are literally just a rock. I mean, it's the world's densest, sharpest tungsten and or depleted uranium rock, <laughs> but it's still just a rock. Fucking depleted uranium fucking arm. Fuck why wear Why wear this arm when you can just eat it? Mickey, it we don't care how calorie dense uranium is. But you can have. survive the winter with it. Oh, right here? Right there. Right oh, there. God. Oh, there. oh my god. Oh my god. I found some ammunition to explode. Oh, 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 smoke. Destroyed. He's right close. Oh, oh, yeah! Oh, smoke. Oh, can I thread the needle? Oh, can I thread the needle? Oh, I thread the needle. Bullseye. Shit. My turret can't depress. The Abrams can never be depressed. Only its operator. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, yes. Found him. Boom, baby. Right in his tailpipe. Boom. Target destroyed. Oh, <laughs> look who I found. Oh, baby. Okay, they're on it's, C. They should be, like, right in front of me, I think. I just blind-fired into smoke and hit that guy. I saw, like, a glimpse oh of his tank. I can't even begin to tell you how hilarious I find it that a Sabo can not only puncture state-of-the-art tank armor, but go straight through it and still have enough energy to punch out the other side. I eagerly await the sweet release of death when I get to see kill cams like that. Yeah, and, uh, you'll never see your family again. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to that round right there. Through my shoes. Yeah, yeah, oh, that did it to you. Oh, legs? Damn. Gone. Yeah, Little Jimmy's gonna have a lonely dinner. <laughs> damn. If you zoom in, you can see the exact point where all his kids became more. Wow, was that far away. Wow. <laughs> through my turret's armor, through my dudes, through my ammunition, out the other armor. What the fuck? I gotta hand it to the Department of Defense. These are some scary ass depleted uh, uranium rocks. Since we've never done it before, it's the power of thought it was a brilliant idea for all of us to run World War II bombers, which is like flying a garbage truck strapped with enough ordnance to erase a country from the face of the earth? Landing back on the carrier is not a priority. Bombs away, fellas. Uh, Hopefully I don't run into them on the way down. Uh, I hit I hit the base. I hit it again. We actually got three quarters of its health in one run. Yes, got them all off. That is going to be a very big hole. Yes, I got it. I destroyed it. Yeah, I mean, I've got thousand pound bombs, my dude. I, I do some serious deeps. Let it fly, baby. There they go. My bombs are waiting for splash. Oh, oh that oh. damage! Yes, I got oh, it with oh, mine! It. Nice! I'm dropping. Oh, I accidentally hit my space bar and dropped a bomb. Oh god, that's a village. <laughs> oh god, that's a village! <laughs> dropping the heat! Yes, oh, I got my. it! That's a w. Yes, we won! Best we squad! We got the best squad! Yeah. 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 We all decided to all run tracer rounds just in case some of these interceptors wanted to fuck around and get shredded by a peanut bomber and jelly. It is literally impossible to have too many tracers. When they're all tracers, I love that. that. Yo, all tracers, I hit that dude. I hit that dude, Bada, <laughs> I swear. This gigantic flying fucking garbage truck is gonna take down a fighter. It's so laborious, though. Yes, I hit him hard. Come on, take him down! 
Jacob down, baby! Oh, yeah. shit. Damn. Oh, Flying into each other. Hell I yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, oh God, I'm not brother. Oh, that family ain't seen that LA5 anytime soon. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> and we ended the session by checking out the Japanese Air Force, which I can't tell was a major victory or a major mistake. Actually, that helicopter with the anime Japan chip on the, the side? Anime Are helicopter. you kidding? Yeah, it's oh, historical. Yeah. Like, that's what the, the Japanese... All right. Look, from the screen. Promote the Japanese Air Force. I'm gonna Nico Nico need you to turn that shit off right now. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Nico Nico need you to turn that shit off. I'm gonna have to take that and steal that and use that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna have to Katamari Damashi this Damasari right here. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, anime has been cancelled. <laughs> anime has been cancelled. It has been replaced by Halloween. Yeah, anime is cancelled. Anime is cancelled. Hell yeah. Oh, please. That's so cool. <laughs> yes! <laughs> the anime is cancelled. Yeah, this is Burger 1-1, the Burger Actual. No way! This is Burger 1-1, the Burger Actual. I'm so proud of Skulker for finally making it through a video without giving any of us hearing damage. That really has to be a first. You see me fucking laughing, my gamer? Uh, Hell yeah! Everybody's favorite expendable pilot, Skulker. You could easily auto rotate this right now, honestly. <laughs> like high key, high key, I could land this helicopter. Easy. Right now. You got this. Alright, now throttle up. Nailed it at my funeral. Nailed it. Skull can get in the server. I'm not, not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm like, <laughs> and that's about it. I know I kind of caught you off guard there, and this mug can be a little bit disturbing if it comes in a little too fast, but I, I, I had to end the video somewhere. And you hear that? The echo's getting better. I made this whole wall soundproof to the house building theme from RDR2, which I'm not embarrassed about. I shouldn't tell you the music that I edit videos to. I tell you you what, Bobby, I'm gonna put this shit on every wall. Thanks so much for watching all the way to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. Thank you to Gaijin for sponsoring this video. Man, does it mean a lot. War Thunder is free to play via the link below. You get a free vehicle by signing up down there and the decal. Oh, some of the ones that you guys sent me on Twitter is just, oh, oh my lord. Enter the next time we face off an M2 Bradley against a Stegosaurus. I don't know how, but I know that M2 Bradley's gonna find a way to flip itself over and drown every occupant inside I don't what well, I should not <laughs> I am a stegosaurus oh god the top gun yeah the top gun theme <coughs> oh god uh okay so there's certain okay so badger right here is talking about Certain songs that he listens to while editing to help him with the, uh, to help him with, uh, post, post-production and all that. I can't really have extra sound going on while I'm editing or I can't tell what's going on. Uh, for me, uh, it's mostly, uh, sometimes it's podcasts and other times it's, uh, it's some, it's different types of music. Remember like, one I've day. I've played always sunny in the background but i have to turn it down so low that i can barely hear what they're saying in order to pay attention to what i'm editing it's that's probably fair. just my add though well that's fine i mean <coughs> pneumonia sucks yep but on the on the positive side of it I'm on the mend, and I am almost I am almost back to the point where I was a few weeks ago. So here's the hoping that uh, hoping that um, I eventually get back there. You know, because this sucks, dude. This sucks having you know not being able to huh, not being able to do videos on the norm like I like we normally do. But again, I guess you know it's just stuff you got to suffer through. For the time being. <clears throat> Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I think that's going to do it for now. This was a 
Rush th- <clears throat> Russian Badger, Literal Morons, and an AH-64 Apache Longbow War Thunder video. Uh, if you want to see more from Badger, the link to the original video is down below. And also, if you want to see our uh, our uh, Rainbow Six Siege videos, the ones that we've done, uh, there's links to those in the description down below. The first one you see will be our most recent one, so feel free to check it out. And uh, I guess, for now, that's going to do it. So, until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Nate. We'll see you in the next one, everybody. Peace out.